As the final events of Bible prophecies are rapidly being fulfilled, the call coming from God to His people as such a crisis as this is to come up higher. Come up higher as God called Moses to Mount Sinai. Come up higher as Elijah called the people of God to come up on Mount Carmel. Come up higher because we have a high calling in Jesus Christ. Our High Calling, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Blessings diffusive as sunlight. That ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven, for he maketh his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. Matthew 5 verse 45. I see a providence in all God's works. The clouds and rain as well as the bright sunshine have their mission in blessing to man. The God of nature knows just what we need, and he moves forward in a straight line, sending blessings upon the just and upon the unjust. I am so grateful that finite minds cannot have the ordering of things. What cross-purposes would be revealed? There is a narrowness in human comprehension that is dishonoring to God. Let not him who claims Christ as his Savior entertain the thought that God's mercies are confined to him and to few in whom he is interested. The love and mercy of God are for everyone. Let us gather up the divine tokens of his favor and return praise and thanksgiving to him for his goodness, which is bestowed upon us not to be hoarded, but to be passed along to others. God expects everyone who enjoys his grace to diffuse this grace as freely as Christ bestows his mercies. As the sun shines upon the just and the unjust, so the sun of righteousness reflects light to the whole world. God's blessings, sunshine and showers, heat and coal and every natural blessing are given to the world. Exclusiveness is not to be maintained by any people. I am the light of the world, Christ said. Light is a blessing, a universal blessing, which pours forth its treasures on a world unthankful, unholy, demoralized. The Lord Jesus came to demolish every wall of exclusion, to throw open every wall in the temple where God presides that every ear may hear, that every eye may see, that every thirsty soul may drink of the water of life freely. God scatters blessings all along our path. We may weep and groan and mourn and stumble at every step, if we choose, or we may gather up the precious fragrant flowers and rejoice in the Lord for His goodness in making our path to heaven so pleasant. The love of God is great.
it shall forever.